So guys, today we're talking about the black widow spider bite. Black widow spiders live in the warm areas in the US. They normally do not bite humans unless they are provoked. Their venom is a nervous system uh, affecting venom. And once they inject their venom, the process of envenomation means that that venom would slowly continue to get injected and it causes hypertension. So there are going to be episodes of hypertension. Now the black widow bite may actually go unnoticed or there may be uh, signs and symptoms that may be mild to severe. So because it is a nervous system uh, venom, what happens is, first of all, there is a local inflammation and pain. After that, it is possible, it may be possible that there are, there are tremors, muscle weakness, then abdominal discomfort with nausea and vomiting. This abdominal discomfort can become really bad and it might mimic pancreatitis or appendicitis. In terms of treatment, the first thing is to wash the bite mark, bite area with soapy water. Number two, put cold compresses that would reduce the uh, inflammation and also reduce the pain. After that, it really is symptomatic and support uh, management. So there may be basic or advanced life support needed. There may be a need for updating the tetanus immunization. So there may be a booster needed. Then because the envenomation process causes hypertension, there may be episodes of hypertension that would need nitroprusside to be given. Now, in terms of pain, over-the-counter uh, acetaminophens or ibuprofen plus antihistamines may be given. In addition to that, for the abdominal discomfort, in the past, uh, calcium gluconate used to be given. However, in the later studies, it is shown that it is not very effective. In one of the studies, they gave intravenous opioids to one group of patients intravenous opioids plus benzodiazepine, the muscle relaxants to another, another group, and then calcium gluconate to another group. And the observation was that the patients that received IV opioids, 50% of them felt better very soon. Patients with the IV opioids plus the benzodiazepine muscle relaxants, 70% of the, them felt better very soon. Patients that were receiving calcium gluconate did not feel better and they needed further management. And finally, I want to talk about the antivenin. The antivenin for the black widow spider is actually very effective. 100% of the patients feel better. However, it is very dangerous as well. The reason for that is that it is whole immunoglobulin G from horses and it can cause severe reactions. So in the same study, Many patients that received this developed allergic reactions and one of the patients who developed, who had asthma developed severe bronchospasm and died. So antivenin is not indicated right away. Try other things and it is really, really reserved for a situation where nothing else would work or the patient situation is really bad and proper life support systems are available before this antivenin is given. Thank you very much. And guys, if you like these kind of videos, short, brief and to the point, then uh, like and subscribe. We are doing these videos every day and we upload them every day. 